Hello everyone, this is Raymond from DG Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 253. Starling the satellite internet division of billionaire Elon Musk rocket company SpaceX will apply early next year for a commercial license in India to provide broadband and other services. And the officials has mentioned that the commercial license will be confirmed on or before 31st of January 2022. If they got the approval by Jan, the company can roll out all the services by april it aims to have around 200000 starlink devices in india by december 2022 Moto was rumored to launch the Moto G51 5G in India on December 10th and the rumor has turned out to be true since the company's India branch confirmed the launch date on Twitter. Anyway, Motorola has not revealed the Moto G51 5G's Indian pricing yet, but it has confirmed that the smartphone will have a two color options in India and will be sold through Flipkart. From Moto, the Moto Edge X30 will be the world's first Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 powered smartphone on its launch. It is going to be a 144 Hz display which offers a high refresh rate and it also reveals that the Edge X30 will also support the HDR10 Plus and a 10 bit color. iPhone 12 Pro is available at rupees 94900 on Amazon in India. The original price of this smartphone is rupees 119900. The iPhone 12 Pro specifications include a 6.1 inch display, A14 Bionic chipset, 12 megapixel triple rear camera and a 12 megapixel of selfie camera. According to the rumors, the TSMC will move the process to volume production by the fourth quarter of 2022 and start shipping 3 nanometer chips to customers like Apple and Intel in the first quarter of 2023. As usual, this process advancement should allow the performance and power efficiency improvements which can lead to faster speeds and a longer battery life on future iPhones and Macs. The first series of Apple Silicon Mac powered by M1 chip already deliver industry leading performance per weight while running impressively quiet and cool. The first Most Apple devices with the 3 nanometer chips will likely debut in 2023 including the iPhone 15 models with an A17 Bionic chipset and a Silicon Mac with the M3 chips. Huawei has a scheduled launch event for December 23rd and the lineup includes laptop, TVs and a smart wearable device. The Huawei Mate V seems to be the main highlight on the December 23 launch. The Huawei teaser showed what seems to be a closed flip phone that was promised to be launched in the late December 2021. Google Pixel feature drop which brought the locked folder functionality within the Google Photos app on Pixel devices. The search giant announced in October that the locked folder on Google Photos would be made available to more Android and iOS devices by the end of this year. Now this feature seems to be initial roll out to some of the Android devices. This function is expected to be made available to broader user base soon via a server side update. Redmi Note 11 5G Indian variant has received the Bluetooth SIG certification. We can expect this smartphone will be releasing on the quarter one of 2022 again. The Redmi K50 lineup is tentatively scheduled to go official towards the end of the Feb 2022. The Redmi K50 Pro Plus is expected to be powered by the newly announced Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, whereas the K50 Pro will have the Snapdragon 870 chipset. The vanilla K50 and the K50 Gaming on the other hand are expected to come with the Dimensity 7000 processor and the Dimensity 9000 processor. Oppo phone with the model number PES M10 spotted on Tina certification. This smartphone has been spotted with a dual rear camera setup on the back. There is also a side mounted fingerprint sensor. The display comprises of a punch hole camera at the top left corner. Oppo Find X Y series and the Redmi K50 series will be coming up in the quarter one of 2022. The new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 will be available in the middle of this month and the new Dimensity 9000 processor will be looking forward on the February 2022. The YouTube application on Android and iOS has received a cool new upgrade which brings listening controls to all the videos. This feature appears to be exclusive to premium subscribers for now. Accessing the controls is done via the setting menu although some music videos automatically suggest bringing up the controls for you via the pop-up. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow DG Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.